I asked Claude D.5 Sonnet Artifact to give me. I'm going to show you how to take this application from Claude Artifact and then deploy it directly on the internet so you can share it with everybody. So I'm going to show you step by step, starting from the first prompt that I used to write and also the challenges that I went through to deploy this. If you are a non-technical person, let's say you're a teacher and you want to show animation to your kids while you're teaching, this is the video that will help you to create something like this without any single line of code using Claude 3.5 Sonnet artifact and using a little bit of code, we would be able to successfully deploy it on the internet so that your kids can start playing with this. Just to show you a quick demo, I asked Claude 3.5 Sonnet artifact to give me code or the app that can explain thermodynamics. I'm not sure how it explains thermodynamics, but at least it is the app that we have got. So first step, very first step, you need to have a Claude account. So you need to go to Claude.ai and then once you go there, you can start chatting with that. The very first message that I sent is explain thermodynamics with animation. That is all I had to do and I got this in the result. I've made a separate video about it. I'll strongly encourage you to watch that if you have no clue whatever I'm talking about. Once you have this code in place, you can click this code tab and then you can see the entire code. At this point, you can do two things. You can either download the code, which is download to file, or you can click copy contents. I would say either doesn't make any difference. Downloading will create a .tsx file and copying the code also doesn't make a lot of difference. Now, if you see this code, this might be different every time. So it is very important for you to pay attention here. So in this particular case, because we have asked for animation, Claude is using something called a react. This is a front end framework and uh, this is going to make a lot of difference in how we are going to deploy this thing. So this tutorial, if you are a front end developer, you might already know that I'm going to just deploy a front end application. So you don't have to watch this video, but if you have no clue, whatever a react is, probably this video is exactly for you. So we're going to deploy a react based application on a service called Netlify all for free. So we are going to use this code. I've already downloaded the code. But before we do this code, there is one thing that we need to do, which is we need to install Node.js and NPM libraries, all the things that we need. So I'm going to say Node.js. So you can go here and then download and install Node.js. So you have to make sure that you are able to run Node.js in your local computer. So there are a lot of tutorials on the internet to do this thing. So I'm not going to get into it, but just make sure that you can run Node.js. And also if you go to your terminal, like whatever terminal that you use, you should be able to run something like this. So I'm going to open my terminal and if you see npm install something, when I say that thing, it should technically work. So you should be prepared until this install Node.js and make sure you are able to install any npm library. Now, what is an npm library? This is if you're familiar with Python, it is like your Python library. So the code that you see here that Claude 3.5 Sonnet gave us, you can see that it uses two libraries here. So these are actually installed through that npm install react, npm install lucid react. So these are the libraries that we installed from NPS npm. If you want to avoid this, there is a way that you can ask Claude artifact to give you CD and JS. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, if you further have issues after watching this video, we can jump into that. The first step is after you have a node installed, after you can do npm install. So the next thing that you have to do is you have to open a terminal like this and within your terminal, you need to create a folder like this as something created using npx create dash react dash app my dashboard app. So this my dashboard app is exactly the name of your app. So for example, in this case, I want to do a thermodynamics one. I can just simply say thermodynamics. So let's start from the first. I'm going to just go here, get out of this first. So in a terminal, I'm going to get out like this. Okay. I'm going to say npx create react app. And I'm just simply going to say thermodynamics dynamics. After I do this, so this see node.js npm, then this tutorial basically starts. Like if you think about the timeline, it is going to take a couple of seconds. So the challenge that I had, I'm going to just take a quick break, go to the challenge that I had. So the challenge that I had is if you see the Claude animation here, the animation, you can see certain things in web development technology. There are multiple things here at play. So these are like buttons and there are like JavaScript actions behind it. 
But for the button to render this beautifully, you need styles. So what Claude initially gave me was uh, the style that was not inline style. So at some point I had to like tell it like do this, do this, do this, do this. And at some point Claude gave me finally the style that is inline. So you can see that uh, I said for some reason, once again, the style shift is not working. And then it goes to actually add the style inline. So that is something that you need to keep in mind that if you upload this, if you deploy this for whatever application that you are doing it, at the end, you are just seeing this kind of action. You are not seeing these colors or the buttons. That means one thing that is very clear is your style is not uh, particularly rendering. So you have to probably go back to anthropic law to say, okay, give me uh, a style in inline or probably generate a separate CSS file and then refer it. There are separate ways to do it. Just go ask again. <laughs> That's the simplest answer. So now we have got the NPX create react app thermodynamics there. That means inside my documents, I have got a new folder called thermodynamics. So I'm going to go into my folder thermodynamics. After I go into my folder, I can do LS. And as you can see here, I can see certain files in here. So there is a folder called node modules. There is a folder called SRC. There is a folder called pack, file called package.json. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open it in my visual studio code. This is the shortcut, but you can basically open it in your visual studio code. Once you open it in your visual studio code, you can click public where you can already see index.html and other things. And you will also see SRC inside SRC. You will see something called app.js. So what we are going to do now is we are simply going to go to app.js and replace our code before building it again. So the code that Claude gave us, I'm going to go back to Claude. I'm going to copy the code. And after I copy the code, click copy here, come back here, paste it here, save it here, then go back to my terminal. After I go back to my terminal, I have to do something called NPM. So I, in this case, I already have installed NPM install lucid react so that it runs. But if it says that this package is not available, you have to do NPM install, whatever the package name is. I'm going to do NPM run build. When I do NPM run build, what basically it is doing is it is building our JavaScript application with something something and then finally it is going to give me an HTML file that the browser can render. So it says it has failed to comply because okay lucid react for this particular project I did not do. This is the error you would get npm install lucid react. Do it. So looks like it is going to install inside the folder. <laughs> My terrible JavaScript skills. Yeah, so now we have installed it. I'm going to do npm run build again and uh, it is going to try to build it. And once it tries to build it, it's uh, serve it. You can see here how to serve it. It says serve dash s build. So let's do serve dash s build. And as you can see here, it is being served local and network. Click it here. And if I click it here, as you can see, it is being deployed because this is the final code with CSS and everything. So play it. It shows probably thermodynamics or something. Cool. Now that we have this, this is all happening in our local computer. You cannot show it to your students if it is only in your, I mean, you can show it to your students if it is in local computer, but the ultimate objective of this video is, can you deploy it? Can you actually deploy it on the internet where somebody like random humans on internet can not see it? So to log in to Netlify with some account that you have got, if you have got email, something, whatever that you have got, sign into the Netlify account. If you do not have an account, create an account, sign into Netlify. After you sign in, you would see uh, something here called add new site. Click add new site, click deploy manually. Once you click deploy manually, this is where you drag and drop your output folder. So the main thing is that the output folder should have index.html. There are certain ways you can handle it if you don't have index.html. My terminal, let me go to my terminal. Once I go to my terminal, I'm going to just do cd dot dot open dot. And if you see my terminal, I've got the build file and I'm going to just open this build, click this build and go to Netlify and drop it. If it does not have index.html, then it would actually tell us that the folder that you are trying to drop does not have index.html. And now the file has been deployed. All we have to do is it's um, complete. 
Now let's op production open deploy. And in this particular URL, which I'll link it in the YouTube description, this is actually available currently right now. And this is how we can deploy something from Claude 3.5 Sonnet artifact. And we can come back here and then run this. I want to show this one more time, but assuming that you have done the, you know, create the react application and all these things, we're going to start from scratch. Okay. I'm going to go create a new chat. I'm going to say explain neural networks in a simple animation. I just said explain neural networks in a simple animation and uh, it started creating the simple animation and it is not using any external new packages. So I think it should make our job easier. We don't have to ask it to do CD and CD and JS and all those things. As you can see here is where we have got, I'm going to go here, copy the contents and come back to my visual studio code. I'm going to go inside my SRC, go inside my app.js, paste it here, save it, go back to my, this um, terminal I've got, and I'm going to say npm run build. This is assuming you already have got a folder here. You know, I'm not showing you creating the folder again. This is assuming you've got a folder here, which you could have created using something called npx create dash react dash app and whatever the project name is. So assuming you have this folder here, I'm going to do npm run build because we have updated the code. After we have done npm run build, you can see it says now you can start serving it. Serve s build, click it in local. Once I click in local, as you can see here, I've, uh, I've gotten this. My uh, styles are not working properly. So I can go back to Claude again. I can say there seems to be an issue with the style. Can you make all the CSS in line? Let's see. I'm once again trying it. Possible it doesn't work. Uh, doesn't mean that for you it might not work. So I've asked it to change the style inline. So as you can see here, this is the inline style that it is adding. This is me assuming that it is probably inline styling issue. So we have got again, we have got the two version, version one, version two. Copy the contents and uh, come back. Paste it again here. Save it. Go back to your terminal. Stop this. NPM run build again. And once it is done, npm serve and serve. Let me copy this. Serve s build. Run this. We have local. Okay. Seems working. Cool. Um, it made an issue. We asked it to fix it. It fixed it. We have a neural network working fine completely on my local computer within my local computer. Now I'm going to go one step ahead and then deploy this. How am I going to deploy this? I'm going to go to Netlify and uh, you know how to log in and all those things. I'm going to go to my home. How do I go home? Go home, add a new site, click deploy manually. After I click deploy manually, I'm going to copy the module here. So let's go to this again here. And uh, I'm going to just say open dot. And uh, I'm going to click deploy. Sorry, copy build. Go back to Netlify, drop it. Like I said, if it does not have index.html, there are certain workarounds. But in my case, I already have index.html. And hopefully it has deployed. Click production open deploy. Let's see if the animation up. Neural networks, you have got the data flow back to. You have got all these things. Complex patterns are identified. Final predictions are made. Back propagation. So I hope this is helpful to you in understanding how to build something out of Claude artifact without writing a single line of code and also to deploy it on the internet because I saw a lot of tutorials. I found it hard for somebody who doesn't come from a front end or full stack background. And I hope this clears up some confusion and you can deploy your application completely using Claude 3.5 Sonnet artifact. See you in another video. Happy printing.